I never imagined I would be fired for being a Christian. I just graduated from Florida State University with a degree in political science. I loved my time at FSU. I got to have a lot of once in a lifetime experiences. I was involved in several student run organizations, including the Florida State Flying High Circus. And I was most involved with the Catholic Student Union and the Florida State University Student Senate, where I served as Student Senate President. Through the Catholic Student Union at FSU, we had a group chat where students could send prayer requests and just keep up to date with each other. However, on June 3rd, 2020, one member of the group chat uh, asked us to financially support organizations that advanced causes that were contrary to our Catholic faith. That's when I felt the need to point out the discrepancy, and I spoke up. Screenshots of the messages that I sent went viral around campus, which caused a massive outcry of students calling for my removal from the Student Senate Presidency. Most of the major organizations on campus condemned me and called for my removal, and there was an online petition which garnered thousands of signatures. Jack had to sit through a seven-hour uh, Zoom meeting, which is frankly an open firing squad from anyone that wanted to say anything regarding the situation. The majority of the students speaking had never met Jack in person. Jack Denton should have never been able to hold this position in the first place with his known beliefs. I am disgusted that other Catholics are attempting to stand behind him with his outdated and extreme cult mindset. Do not let this man coward behind his religious views. Jack, I hope you're listening and you understand why your beliefs are so vile and wrong. I think you should be removed for your evil words. We have the freedom of speech, but you must learn your lesson. He kept a complete demeanor of composure and professionalism, even while horrible, horrible, slanderous things were being said to him. He never once flinched. He never once reacted in a state of anger. Because Florida State University is a public school, Jack's paid role in the Senate made him a government employee. Jack was fired from a government job for expressing his religious beliefs. That's a blatant violation of the First Amendment, and it's why Alliance Defending Freedom filed suit in federal court on Jack's behalf. If Jack had been terminated for any other trade, such as his race or sex, FSU would have put a stop to those mob tactics immediately. But since he was fired for his Christian faith, they acted like there was nothing they could do about it. Jack's texts, I, I would not classify them as fiery rhetoric or full of hate or anything of the sort. I think he was being very charitable and stating things very calmly, and I think they were misinterpreted by others. If somebody as nice as Jack, who espouses the views that he holds, the beliefs that he holds, if he could be treated in this way, I think all of us should be concerned. A lot of people don't even realize the significance of student governments. It's estimated that student governments at public universities allocate well over $10 billion annually. At Florida State alone, our budget was nearly $13 million. If public universities allow ideological purging to take place in student government, that means funds will be stripped from diverse student groups and causes. Students who don't conform will be ostracized from campus. Another problem is that our public universities are training the next generation of leaders to censor viewpoints they don't like. Many of our current leaders got their start in politics in student government. What happens in student government today will happen in our government tomorrow. The encouraging part of my story is that there's still justice higher than an outraged mob. Because of Alliance Defending Freedom, my case went to federal court where my rights were vindicated. The court ordered Florida State to resume paying me my salary as Student Senate President. And then here on campus, our Student Supreme Court ordered that I be reinstated to my rightful position as Senate President. I want other students to know that you can stand up for yourself. You do have recourse and people to help you. Stand up for what you believe in and don't be cowed by the cancel culture. It's sustained by fear. We can end it if we're willing to stand up for what we believe in.